Hello traders, this is Ankit from Maverick Currencies and welcome to this quick video on interest rates. As we are in this rising interest rate environment, it's a good opportunity to take a look at the interest rates and most importantly, does this rising interest rate uh, also makes your currency value more or less. So as we take a look at the interest rate in context, we know that in the past, we have been in this huge declining uh, interest rate environment. We have been sitting at record lows. And in between these periods, we have seen this uh, smaller periods where we have seen the interest rates that goes higher. I mean, we saw back in after the dot-com bubble, we saw that after the 2005 or 2007. So this is where we are now in this new period where we are seeing rising interest rates. And again, this is not a US phenomena. We are seeing this across the board, across major world, major uh, currencies. We are seeing the exact same thing. So it's a good opportunity to take a look at and see how will this affect our currency. So let's just uh, start with the uh, example. Let's take a look at case study and start with the United States Fed funds rate. And if we go back, I mean, before this whole COVID took place, we were actually in a rising rate environment. So we have to now go back in charts and take a look at that period and see how did the US dollar do? Uh, one of the most common asked questions that I've been getting lately is if the interest rates are going up, then shouldn't the currency go up as well? And a lot of times we are seeing a very mixed price action. There have been times when we see a rate hike and the price action actually falls after that. And at other times, we have seen the interest rate hikes, and that actually continues to go up uh, as far as the exchange rate goes. So we have to go back in time and take a look at it. So let's dive into tr uh, our charts and take a look at that. So as we jump into the charts, let's study US dollar basket and kind of take a look at the timeline on when was the last time back in the 2016, 2017 rate hike cycle how did the US dollar perform overall? So let's look at the daily chart. And actually I have uh, highlighted some areas where we saw the rate hike that took place. And then proceeding to the price action, what was the uh, environment? And post that announcement, how did the US dollar do? So going back to 2015, again, this is where the first rate hike that came through. And one of the things you'll notice that is that the US dollar was actually on a on, a, on a, a much bullish cycle before that rate hike came along. But if we take a look at the initial price action of the rate hike, I mean, we have we saw the price action was positive for a day. And then immediately after that, we saw a bit of a sell-off. Uh, we saw another rally after that. And as you can see, uh, after that, we saw dollar actually decline much further. Now, fast forwarding to later 2016, and we saw another rate hike. As you can see that initially we saw the nice price action going to the upside but also pay attention to what was the price action before that so the dollar was actually doing much better in proceeding into the event so when that came along the the dollar was actually much stronger than it was in the previous months now right after that we saw the good price action for for a few days and then boom right there we saw that uh, the price action correct and then another uh, price hike came in 2017 in March. And then as we fast forward it, you'll notice that that rate hikes did not really translate into a higher US dollar. We have seen much better price action or these appreciation that came through before the announcement came through. But a lot of times what we see, and this is a common phenomena in the markets, is buy the rumor, sell the news. You will come across this, and this is a very common thing to see. And a lot of times the price actions start to move in anticipation for a rate hike. So when the rate hike is announced, and this is where the, the forward guidance, the, uh, the rate statement comes, to, uh, comes handy. If they are very hawkish and they're actually looking for much further aggressive rate hikes, again, that would actually help the dollar to alleviate, alleviate um, this pre uh, the selling pressure and actually goes higher. But if the forward guidance is not as bullish or not as hawkish, we don't see the price action actually carry through. And a lot of times a newer trader will take a look at a rate hike and say, and look at it as face value. Well, theory wise, they raised rates, so the price should go higher. That's not necessarily true as we take a look at this price action. And back in 2017, we actually were in further rate hike. 
And as you can see, this rate hike came in in the middle of uh, 2017 and price action proceeded to go lower. Another rate hike came here. The price action proceeded to go low. And here we are in 2018 and the price action actually was back on an uptrend. So if the price action of the dollar was in a downtrend and we actually saw the rate hike came through, that necessarily did not result into the dollar actually uh, bucking the trend. And in this case, you can see that the rate hike here came through, but proceeding to that, just a month or two before, we saw a nice little price action that started to go in that favor. And we actually were in an uptrend. So if we were in an uptrend, it actually held in those levels and continued to stay strong. Now, fast forward 2020, all the interest rate got slashed pretty, pretty aggressively. So now let's take a look at 2022 because now we are back in that rate hike cycle and we saw the initial rate hike that took place back in March and notice that at that time the rate hike took place and immediately after that we actually saw a sell off so again same thing we saw the we saw the price action go up but was not really uh in place to to carry the price higher and then we actually start to see much more aggressive price action or ex anticipation for the feds to raise interest rates and we can actually see that in the fed futures fund rates again those are future products we can actually see at a certain point we were actually expecting a half a percent basis point to even a 75 uh, basis points so you can see we actually saw initial price action into the announcement was very bullish right after that we got the pullback and this again came right on the news so buy the rumor and sell the news so this is a this is something that you know we can actually study across the board uh, go among other major central banks and see um, do we see a pattern in there and how can we use the pattern into our advantage when next time we come across uh, a rate hike so let's take a look at another case and this is another case study let's take a look at uh, bank of canada canada interest rates and you can see that they actually follow a very similar path compared to the u.s they started raising rates um, in, uh, I think it was uh, the late or in the uh, in the summer of 2017 when the first rate hike came through, and after that you can see that we have seen the series of rate hikes that came through in 2018 as well. So let's dive into the Canadian dollar basket and see the hype, how the price action performed. And as you can see in the price action of Canadian dollar basket, let's take a look. Let's go back in time and see how this price action. Uh, uh, affected uh, how this price action was affected by those rate hikes. So the first rate hike uh, came through in 2017. That was uh, September. Um, proceeding to that rate hike, you notice that the dollar, uh, the Canadian dollar, was actually doing much better. So we saw the Canadian dollar was uh, on an uptrend. So in anticipation for a rate hike, because we start to get that uh, expectation much before that, and there was that news. So as soon as the rate hike was announced, look what happened: price corrected. Another rate hike came through, price corrected. And then in between these cycles, another rate came through, and price corrected. So this is very clear uh, pattern overall that the initial price action doesn't necessarily mean it will carry forward that trend. And there have been times you get these uh, rate hikes, but without a strong guidance, that's where we are, that's where we are not really uh, seeing the price action follow through. And notice the gap in between these two. So this is where they hike the rates and the forward guidance is wait and see approach. There's a lot more spaced apart. Now, fast forwarding now to 2022. And again, one of the reasons where things are actually carrying forward is because we are noticing the central banks are turning a lot more hawkish. And again, thanks to inflation, they are actually in a position where they need to raise rates to tackle inflation and inflation wasn't a re, uh, as much of a uh, an issue back then now taking a look at these rate hikes notice that they're not too far space apart so every central bank meeting they're actually looking to raise rates and what that does is that that keeps the central bank uh, the, the the price action also elevated as well and we have seen the Canadian dollar staying up closer because now we are also expecting in the next uh, Fed rate meeting they're looking to raise rates by another 50 basis points we'll have to see if they come through uh follow through on that one but this is what really keeps that those expectations is what really keeps that uh price action alive but also keep in mind 
that initial price action if you're trading the news event. And this is where it's it's puzzling for, uh, for, for newer traders when they rate when they hike rates, as you saw back in March, the initial price action initially fell. Same thing we saw with dollar. They raised rates, initial price action fell. And even here, they raised rates in April, the initial price action did not jump right away. So I think as, uh, as we take a look at these uh, this price action, and you can do the exact same thing for RBA, uh, New Zealand, I mean, great example, RBNZ raised rates last year, and the price action fell after that. And they did that again this year, and the price action fell after that. So if the price action is at a strong downtrend, these rate hikes are not necessarily going to bring them out of that downtrend. And if we do see an, a short-term price action that's actually bullish or bearish, doesn't necessarily mean it will actually carry the price action through. So one of the things to watch out for is buy the rumor, sell the news. Look for things that start to, uh, the expectations start to take place beforehand. So there's bigger trades to be had leading up to the event rather than trading on the news event and expecting another further rate, another uh, uh, leg up in the price action. Hope the, uh, you find this uh, video useful. You can do your homework and look at all the other central banks, look at the timeline, and see how the currency did around that time. So next time it comes around, you'll be able to make a, a much better de decision. Thank you. Thank you.